Okay, so I had some students had questions on problem 8-7, how to solve it. We have three different investments. Each one has its own expected return. And we have different amounts we've invested in each one of these securities. So we want to know the expected return of our whole portfolio, which includes is consists of these different three securities. So let's go ahead and put it into Excel. This is actually a pretty easy problem once you know how to do it. So we're having our investment of DEF. JKL and TUV. Okay. And we have our expected return, R. And uh, I guess I'll put the hat to vote at this time for fun. Uh, if we're going to put a hat, probably it's best to put it in, for, in the format. Uh, Libre it seems to work pretty good for that. So you go to the end here. And you're going to go to insert, symbol, and we're going to go to combining. Make sure you're in the subset combining di diacritical marks. I need to double click on this. And it inserts, whoops, let me hit close. Put it there twice. Let me try that again. Insert, diacritical marks, and go insert. And it puts a approximation of that. And then finally we have 4%, 24%, uh, and 14%. And the amount invested is 30, put dollars, 30,000. And uh, 25,000. And 45,000. Okay. So, uh, Okay, so that's what we're given. We want to find. We want to find the expected return of the portfolio. Okay, so I'm going to put a P here, and I want to subscript that. So I'm going to Control Shift F, alternate B. Control Shift F. Try it again. Oh, I didn't have this. For some reason I lost my highlighting. So highlight it, control shift F, alternate B, and, and it subscripts it. Okay, so that's what we want to find. The expected return of the portfolio. Let's go for a solution. Uh, probably what I'll do is we'll just copy this down since it's easy to copy it. Put it down in the solution area because I'm going to modify the table a little bit. We want to find if you look at the equation, equation 8.6 in your book, it's the sum of the weights of each investment times the expected returns of each investment. So we have these. We don't have the weights, all we have is the amounts. So the weights are simply the proportion of the total investment that you have invested in in, in, uh, in there. Okay, so let, let me just show you. Rather than talking about, let me show you. So you want to find W. And W is just a portion of the total. So first we have to find the total. So I'm going to hit auto sum. And it highlights the ones. Is this what you want? Yep, that's what we want. So these sum up to 100,000. So now I can find the proportion. is going to be equal to this divided by that. So it's 3 tenths, right? 30% of, of the investment is in investment DEF. Now I want to be careful because I want this bottom one to be absolute. So I'm going to have fourth. And if I copy it down, I have 25% and 45%. So now I have my weights. Okay. So now it's very easy to calculate the return on the portfolio. Uh, is this going to be the sum product? We've done sum product before. Actually, I always say it should be product sum because it first finds the product and then it adds it together. So anyway, so I'm going to go equal sum product. And my first array is going to be these expected returns. And my second array is going to be the weights. Hit enter. And I'm going to make that percent to get out a couple places. And that's my answer. And it's as simple as that. That's all I got to do. Okay, that's it for that video.